Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here and today I'm going to be speaking about whether or not you should update to the iOS 10.2.1. So iOS 10.2.1 was finally released by Apple before a couple of days and its file size is not much, about 72.1 megabytes. Um, this 72.1 megabytes is for the iPhone 6s which I am currently using. So what does it say on the top? So it says iOS 10.2.1 includes bug fixes and improves the security of your iPhone or iPad. So the point is today I'm going to be telling you whether or not you should update your device from iOS 10.2 to the iOS 10.2.1. So I'm going to be telling you six reasons why you would like to update your device from the iOS uh, 10.2 to the iOS 10.2.1 and about four to five reasons why you would like to stick on with the iOS 10.2.1. So just stay tuned guys, I'll be just starting up in a minute now. So guys, the first reason why you would like to update your device from iOS 10.2 to the iOS 10.2.1. Yes guys, now live photo supports more frames per second, which means that whenever you take a live photo, the live photo is more smoother and it kind of the transition between different frames is smoother because you now have more frames per second on your live photo. So the quality is improved and you would love to do that because most of us use live photos in our day to day life. So it's a very important feature for most of them. So you would like to update. So the other reason why you would like to update is while creating a memory, there are sometimes cases that the iPhone includes the screenshots which you took as a part of a memory and you don't want to see screenshots as a part of memory because they're not exactly a memory it's just a screenshot which you take to you know kind of uh, use it for future reference this thing is gonna be huge guys so if you're concerned about the security of the data and if you have some sensitive information in your iPhone then you should go for it you might have heard about the iOS 10.2 iCloud bypass which came up when iOS 10.2 was released so what happens is with this bypass the uh, person can have access to your device for 30 seconds to about two minutes after which you know it goes back to the normal uh, iPass, uh, iCloud activation screen but in this 30 seconds to two minutes the user can do anything with it you can just steal data next thing why you would like to update is in many cases people would not see their uh, third party Bluetooth devices listed it may be a headphone or something else so even it's paired up, it does not show up in many cases. So Apple just fixed the update for it and now it's fine. It's just all the devices are now available and this bug has been patched. Next thing why you would like to update is because of Apple TV. Are you a fan of Apple TV? If the answer is yes. And did you not install the iOS 10.2? Did you miss it? If yes, this is the best chance you will ever get to, you know, get and add a new functionality to your Apple TV. The point is, there are many times where, you know, you want to view the content of your Apple TV right away from your mobile devices. And this is it. With the introduction of the TV app in the iOS 10.2, you now have all the access of the Apple TV right away from your iPhone, not only in the iPhone, also in the iPads. So you are watching some content on your, TV, uh, on your Apple TV, you wanted the same content, to be there on your iPhone or iPad, this is the best thing to do. Also, the TV app is so great that whatever you're watching on your Apple TV, you want to stop it and maybe you go to office, you have some free time and you would like to watch the same program right away from where you stop, the Apple TV or the TV app provides it. The next thing good about the Apple TV app or the TV app is that it, it kind of brings centralization, which means that all your content over the Apple TV is centralized and distributed to all the devices such as iPhone or iPad. The next thing which is good about the TV app is if you're subscribed to any of the major internet TV or video content providers, it supports it. So you could view their content right in your Apple TV on your iPhones as well as the iPads. So that's one of the great features you get with the TV app and it may encourage you to, to update your device. Next thing is do you have a hearing aid device specifically for the iPhone or the iOS, I would say? If yes, 
it's a great chance for you to update your device because with the iOS 10.2.1 the uh, the hearing aid uh, software has been updated and you get more and more new options and customized uh, uh, settings which you could change according to your need and it could be a lifesaver many times so this is why you may update next thing is emojis so who don't like emojis most of us I would say 99% of the people like emojis and in the iOS 10 with the introduction of the Unicode 9 every update brings in a ton of new emojis in it and the same could be expected too in the iOS 10.2.1 yes it is a large number of emojis have been added in the iOS 10.2.1 so you get a wider range of variety of emojis now I'm going to tell you why you would not like to update from iOS 10.2 to iOS 10.2.1 if you don't have a backup of your device why would you update because sometimes when you update the device the device may encounter some problem and you may end up you know kind of uh, losing all your data and it really sucks to do that so if you don't have a backup don't do it next reason why you would not update is because of CDR or iOS jailbreak recently there have been many people who claim that iOS 10.2 jailbreak is ready and it's in the beta stages and it has been confirmed iOS 10.2 jailbreak is on the way just a couple of weeks or more then it's going to be officially released if you are a jailbreak fan and you would like to just play around and change uh, your device and customize it according to your need with a jailbreak please don't do upgrade because we know that iOS 10.2's jailbreak will be the last one maybe in, in a couple of years because the one who did the jailbreak said that this is going to be the last jailbreak which is going to come in some time so you may want to stick on to an iOS 10.2 and jailbreak your device and enjoy all the things the next thing why or I would, I would say the, need, the reason why you would not like to kind of update your device is when you are traveling how are, are you in uh, are you having the iOS 10.2 or below on your primary devices and are you thinking of an update right now without any laptop or something definitely you should not and you know why because uh, well if you update by chance and sometimes it happens that the device does not update properly then what would happen so uh, nothing would happen just you would lose all your uh, contents and uh, contacts for em emergency uses and it kind of is really bad so you cannot get it back and this really really sucks and if I was traveling I would never update maybe you could wait for a while before the next version releases the next reason why you would like not to update is if you're not an iPhone 7 or 7 plus user so if you are an iPhone 7 or 7 plus user it there is a there is a great thing that Apple might have fixed most of the problems in the iOS 10.2.1 which was there in the iOS 10.2 so you may be you know kind of uh, updating because of that otherwise why would you and if you want to take a chance I would say just take it because Apple is still seeding the iOS 10.2 if you update and you don't like it you could come back directly so it's not gonna be creating any problem so that's it guys for this video I think I'll see you up on the next video until next time it's peace out